So the reason I went with the Ecobee 4 um, or the Ecobee 3 even was uh, because of the extra sensor here. My home is not exactly the most, uh, I, I guess, best with its temperature. It's hot and cold in certain areas. So I figured this would help a little bit, but we didn't get that far. We didn't get very far at all. I have an old furnace. My furnace is about, I want to say 27 years old. So it is pretty old, but it is still doing really well. We couldn't really get to the wiring inside our furnace. It wants us to essentially temper with some wiring that, that's in there. Like I, Even if I was an electrician, I think I would feel uncomfortable messing with a furnace that's like 27 years old. You know, when we took this thing apart, it, you know, it, it was scary to look at. It was like diffusing a bomb or something. So before you guys would purchase a, an Ecobee 3, or uh, an Ecobee 4, which is what this is. Um, read through the manual online. It is online. Also pull off your thermostat, see if you have what they call a C wire, which is built into the wall. If not, you're gonna have to wire this in, uh, in through your furnace. So uh, this is a little piece here that essentially, you know, plugs into the yellow, white, green, red, um, and then it comes back out this way. So we didn't feel comfortable with it. It's not labeled anywhere in my furnace because it is older and it was uh, not something we wanted to temper with. Like the whole a smart home uh, idea is great and products like, the, like these are excellent, but the setup of it just isn't user friendly. You get a, a instruction book that's about this thick and it makes you jump from one page to another depending on what cable you have or what cable you don't have. Uh, and then apparently there was one section that said, hey, if you don't have this cable, call us because you're probably gonna have to return the product because you can't use yeah, it. Yeah, probably. So it, yeah. it's, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, if you want a smart home, get some smart lights, plug in the bulb, get a Philips Hue and you know, change, make light shows. Thinking that this would be much easier than it is, uh, turns out to be much harder. Or hire a professional to do it. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure there are plenty of, you know, HVAC specialists that are more than comfortable to go in there and plug in your uh, smart thermostat for you. Right. Yeah. Like I mentioned earlier, there's that C wire. If it does come with your thermostat, you pull it off your wall. It, I think the installation process is much easier. I don't have the C-wire, so that's why we had to go through this whole furnace yeah. So furnace if you had thing. the C-wire, you wouldn't have to have this stupid adapter. Right, so if to, you, okay. right. you would uh, not need this if you have a C-wire um, coming from your wall to power your thermostat. Got it, right. okay. So. so I think we'll wrap it up at that. Uh, thank you for watching. We hope that it kind of helped some people who are borderline deciding whether they wanted a smart thermostat or not. We hope that you'll join us next time. Take care and we'll see you later. Take care, guys.